Hey guys, Lobster here again. Back at it with another fix for PUBG, this time to do with the 2, 3 and 4 hour crashes. I spent a bit of time going through all the logs and information that a fair few people have sent through to me via Discord and other means, and it all seems to be fairly conclusive to be related to an NVIDIA driver crash. After doing some extensive research with trying to work out where this possible crash is coming from or what it can be related to in the realms of applications that are interacting with the driver uh, along those sorts of lines, nothing really yielded any results. I started to then look through into the computational side of the graphics card, so things like CUDA cores and, and that sort of thing that people tend to use where the GPUs get used quite heavily. They tend to sit at 100% for most of their life, be it 4080, 4090 or 3080, 3090. And I did stumble across a fair few people having a similar crashing problem. As a result, they've started doing digging themselves and have started to find things relating to TDR. Essentially, TDR basically is just Windows way of preventing anything from harming the OS or the operating layer being Windows. And what tends to happen is if, from my understanding, is the graphics card will end up in a 100% utilization state. And if it's done that for more than two seconds, TDR steps in. TDR then will kill any process that is using the graphics card at the time, be it PUBG, can be DaVinci Resolve, can be anything that you're using, even uh, things like web browsers. So people may have noticed that browsers that they've had open in the background, especially if you're watching a stream or have a stream open in a lurk state, you'll notice that that potentially has a cannot load player or player error. So you've got to refresh the page to get it to come back. That's indicative of TDR triggering and basically rendering anything using the graphics card. After doing some fairly extensive testing myself using a bunch of benchmarking tools and things, I was able to reproduce the constant crashing. And as a result of that, I then started testing things where along the lines of actually extending the TDR time to allow the graphics card to sort of come back to a, a workable state. But no matter how far I push the time out, it'll still freeze. Windows will then step in, essentially halting the system for that time period of delay that is set, and then eventually subsequently crashing the process. And now upon further testing, I found that the only way to work around this issue currently or to stop it from actually crashing, be it not only PUBG, but editing programs and things of, of that similar nature that's using the GPU, is to actually turn the TDR from setting three to setting zero. All right, now the part that everyone's been waiting for, the actual fix. And you'll be fine, you'll find it's quite simple and straightforward. So first things first, you wanna open up your start menu. I'm gonna go into registry editor. You can normally just type in reg or regedit. Um, now this may seem scary, it's not. It's, it's fairly straightforward and it's, it is very safe. And once it's open up, you will then be greeted with a window similar to this. In some cases, if you've done stuff in here before, you may have a path already predefined in here. Now I'll put this path in the description box down below so that you can es essentially just copy and paste it in here. Now you'd want to leave computer there and you then paste this in. So this will take you to the local machine system, current control set, control graphics drivers. Once you hit enter, you'll then be met with this page here with a bunch of the default config. Now, some operating systems will have this there as an entry. Otherwise, if it's not, we have to then create the entry to then basically tell the graphics driver what to do as for, a for TDR, whether it reports or not. So to do that, we simply then right click on graphics driver folder. We go to new, D word 32 bit value. And you'll be given this. We simply then type in TDR level and hit enter and that's pretty much it you then leave it at zero and at this point you then close the registry editor and give your machine a restart now some quirks that i have read about that people can experience is if an application does hang due to a memory leak um, just poor coding which can happen um, especially things with like games there's so much happening at once that that they can crash the behavior might seem a little different in the sense that the application will tend to just freeze, which then would require you to manually open Task Manager and kill the process. From the testing I've done over the last three to five days and with the people that I've tested with, we found that we've had no crashes within the realms of gaming. I obviously I do editing with DaVinci myself. I've had no issues with the editor. I've actually found it performs better. There's less 
hang time essentially so the the program doesn't actually freeze waiting for the the graphics card or a process to finish so as i said i've not had any impact um on any of my hardware or any of my functionality as such but i have found that that crashing issue is gone the most common thing that we see to be able to see if you're getting the same crash would be if you open your event viewer and you go to windows logs system log and in this list what you'll tend to see if the crashing is happening for you at the two three or four hour mark there will be an error related to nvl the nvl driver process actually crashing so the common thing that you will see is this error here this is a very very standard error that occurs where essentially it's telling you that your gpu had to be reset now the cause for this i've not been able to determine it it, it not only happens for um, gaming it happens for applications the way i found this was actually looking through cuda computation please do if you do use it and you notice anything please leave your comments in the comment section below um, i'm always looking for feedback and if you guys can think of anything else that you think would be worth a challenge for me to troubleshoot or even just to take a look at i'm, I'm happy to i i really i thoroughly enjoy this and the community support in the PUBG community especially that I've seen and received has been immense like it, it's I am I'm I'm blown away like it's yeah I see people sharing commenting on PUBG support page post and sharing my video which is yeah it, it makes me feel like I enjoy doing this troubleshooting to, to benefit everyone so yeah you know thank you to everyone who has done that and continues to do that and yeah make sure you like you know and subscribe to the channel um the videos will be a little bit here and there on this channel i am trying to sort of get into a rhythm but struggling a little bit so yeah do stick around and if you yeah, let me know what you guys want to see i'll be posting a mixture of these fixed guides um tutorials and then also gaming content so yeah thanks for watching thanks for your time and i'll uh see you in the next one